Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daily Dan blog. You know I love saying that. Today I'm going back in time. I'm taking a look at a true classic. I'm checking out the Swiss Family Robinson to tell of some shipwreck castaways on a desert island. Hey, kind of sounds familiar, don't it? Like a Gilligan's Island kind of tale, but it's not. It's got pirates and everything else. Well, at least the movie does. I'm not so sure about the comic book. I want to dedicate this video to my real good friend, Dave Sunstorm at The Good Stuff here on YouTube. You'll find out why in the second. Anyway, I love the cover art on this classic comic book, don't you? Hey, check this out. A while back, I received this package from my friend Dave Sunstorm. It's something I won in one of his contests over on his channel. And I happened to win this. Check it out. It's a Swiss Family Robinson DVD movie. I threw it in. I've been checking it out. It's in the DVD player now. I was showing you the beginning of it, but I'm not going to be showing you too much of it because it's a Disney movie and we know how copyrights go. Uh, Daddy Dan knows real good I don't want the good stuff no more because of copyright claims, but I'm not going to go off on that right now. I'm just going to do a comic book review for this really cool comic book, The Swiss Family Robinson, inspired by my friend Dave Sunstorm. When I won the contest and received the DVD, I made it my mission. I made it my mission to track down the comic books just so I could do a comic book review about the Swiss Family Robinson. So let's get started, shall we? Well, this book starts out like a true classic novel with a little inside art and a little introductory page. You don't see that in too many comic books, but they could have put something inside the cover. It reads more like a book than a comic book. Well, right off the rip, I can't remember none of these people's names. Oh, my God, I should have studied for this one, shouldn't I? I should go Google their names, but I'm not. We're going to call them Daddy. We're going to call her Mama. And we're going to call these the kids because it's a comic book. And I just can't remember right now. Uh, anyway, Dad gets a letter. He inherited some money from his cousin. They're going to be rich. They're going to sell to America and get some money. And on the very first page of this comic book, the ship goes awry. They wind up crashed. They wind up banged. They wind up shipwrecked. So in full panels brought to you by the Daddy Damn Blog, this comic book moves at extreme speed. A little bit faster than the movie did. Tell me about it. I sent through that movie a while back, and it was like, ah, it went on and on and on. And, and. The ships are floating, and they're trapped inside, and they break out of the little cabin to find that the ship's empty, and they're all alone. It washed ashore on a desert island. Oh, and on the desert island, they're going to build huts, and they're going to construct places to live. Oh, the excitement never stops. Father and his sons hunt. In the movie, it took them three hours to get off the boat. But in the book, they go hunting real quick. They done found coconuts. They found a really cool monkey. They're making friends with the animals. It's just a happy, happy joy story. As they put together their little cabin, as they round up some animals, as, as they go hunting for some meat. You know, this comic book, don't make it no easier. Dad's always referred to as father. Mother's always referred to as mother. Son. Just, they never say no name, so it don't make it really easy to call people by name in this comic book. Let me just point that out. I don't remember their names, and they don't tell their names, so it's, we're going to fight over it. Anyway, they rounded up these animals and the livestock off the boat. They're trying to salvage stuff from the ship. They got donkeys, and they got cattle. They got everything they need on that little island, don't they, boy? They got lucky. They even got all kinds of cool stuff out of the captain's quarters. Look, they encountered Jaws. They had to throw some shark in there. I wonder if, I wonder if that guy who, who, who wrote Jaws... Check out this comic book, huh? And check this out. The excitement in the boy's face. Father. Father. He's going to attack us. Oh, God. Oh, they're worried about a shark. And they're fighting off the shark. And the shark's being led away. And they're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the shark. He kills the shark with a knife. Well, that's one bad little dude. I don't remember that happening in the movie I watched. Hold on. Hold on for a minute. Daily Dan stands corrected.
It was such a quick little scene. It took up three pages in the comic book, but but uh, in the movie, it took about 12 seconds, okay? So as I just noticed, as I fast-forwarded through some of the movie just now, and oh, my God, reminder, you know what I mean? That, yeah, it went on, and it went on as they rounded up animals, as they built their little house, as they did all the stuff. It makes living on an island fun, I guess. Yeah, I really like the treehouse structure they built. That was interesting. I'm a little slow on this one. It's not my usual kind of comic book. I don't usually do the classics, even though you'd be surprised that I've got about a hundred of them that I've never showed on camera. Maybe I'll do that one day and let y'all see all the really cool stuff I've got. Well, I did do that Davy. Crockett one, and that's kind of a classic, right? Let me know in the comments below. Baby Crockett's a classic. Anyway, they're still getting stuff off the ship. Mom and Pa's still putting together the house. They're setting the table. They're having some dinner, and they're going back and looting the rest of the boat for every little thing they could find, including a little bitty lifeboat. They're going to use that for a sailboat later and go check things out as they fix it and continue to construct their structure. And I love the way it's turning into a little... A little condominium on the mountainside there, right? As they go hunting for food again. They do a lot of hunting for food in this comic. So as life rolls on for the Swiss family Robinson, they find themselves out on a big old hunt. Yeah, they out hunting game. They trying to round up some pheasants. I don't know. They're hunting. Mom's doing some cooking. Yeah, I guess they got the bird, huh? So Mom cooks it up, and they have a nice dinner before the boys and Dad. Go exploring around some more on the island, tending to the animals and stuff, you know, because that's what you do on the island. So if all panels brought to you by the Daily Dan blog, we carry on with the Swiss Family Robinson doing their chores, the excitement of playing in the mud, the excitement of doing some fishing, the excitement of tending to the corn, the excitement of falling in quicksand and almost dying and being saved by Rover. Yep. They got Rover off the boat, too. Actually, they got two of them dogs off the boat in the movie, but only one of them in the comic book. Yep, they saved the boy, and they put him out to quicksand, and that was the excitement so far. So come quick, son. Something big is washed up on the beach as they rush to the beach. Uh, they find a big old blue whale washed up on the beach, and I guess Dad has a wonderful idea about this. He's going to make him some oil. That's right. Soon they'll have whale oil. How exciting is a giant snake is attacked. One of the little whatever in the blue hack that jackass thing's supposed to be. Uh, so they have to come and they have to fight off the big snake. And they have to kill it. And this will be your first time, Junior. You must kill some. Don't remember that in the movie. Hey, I checked that one wasn't in the movie. Anyway, moving right along, they're going to do the big famous ostrich thing. Yeah, they got the ostrich, and now Goofus, Goofus is going to ride the ostrich. Boy, I love that in the movie. It just made me laugh so hard, Dave. You call that the good stuff, right? Yeah, I did too. I really want to thank Dave Sunstorm for sending me a really cool DVD, even though I did win it in one of his little contests. Probably the only thing I ever won in them contests I enter every time. I still ain't won that retro magazine subscription I've been shooting for for years. Years. Years, Dave. Years. Anyway, so they go and strolling. They go in canoeing. They play it around in the water. <sighs> Dad's teaching the boys the art of survival here on this desert island, boy. Ah, the comic book isn't quite as exciting as the movie. So in full panels, brought to you by the Daddy Dan Bog, they just don't quite go along with the movie. I'm telling you, they were, by now in the movie, I had done seen some pirates and stuff and some cool stuff going on. It's just not happening in this book because it's just a lot of hunting. There's a lot of fishing. There's a lot of scouting around. Hell, they ain't even encountered no natives. Yeah, now they're going to start putting up some Fortified structures in case something bad happens. Okay, in case, in case something bad happens. All righty. And they continue to scout and they continue to build and nothing really happens. I'm getting kind of annoyed. Oh my God, where's the pirates? I swear there's pirates in this story. And hostages. 
kind of wonder where this island is where it's got ostriches and elephants and a cannon from the ship to help defend my little house on the hill. Yeah, that's right. One day the pirates might come. We got to be ready. Ah, man, in the meantime, you can plow some fields. We can stand and watch beautiful sunsets. We can make cool hats out of whatever they made the hat out of. I don't know, seaweed. Ah, we can till the corn some more. and We can swim and find some oysters. And oysters make good eating. Oh, God. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to be honest with you, YouTube. This my, this thing, this comic book is making me want to pull my hair out and scream. It is very inaccurate to the movie. I, I, I don't like that. Oh, oh, my God. Now, something that's totally not in the movie. They're going to get together. They're going to chill out. They're going to go in there to the boat, explore the island, and take a ride to a cave, you know, uh, and do some diving in the cave. Yeah, well, we found some more oysters with pearls. Whoa, we're going to be rich. We have to get off this island, this big bag of pearls we got. I sure did. When the hell did they start collecting pearls? That wasn't in the movie, neither. But now they got a big-ass bag of pearls, and they're going to be all rich when they get off the island, even though they inherited a fortune. And I just want to scream right now. So I got to do something else for a second. Jesus, this is giving me a headache. You know, this has got to be the longest, most drug-out comic book review ever. It's a big Thick classic, oh my God. Now would be a good time to give a shout out to my friend Pat McCormick at the Golden Rage of TV here on YouTube. And of course, the king of the good stuff, my friend Day Sunstorm. Find him at the good stuff here on YouTube, as well as my friend Thresh Pondo Ponds. And Red Ian over at Retro Serial. Be sure to check out my Good Stuff buddies, even though I'm not a Good Stuff guy no more because my Good Stuff channel got took down by Screw You YouTube. Okay, they didn't cut the part out where the pirates are. And on their little adventure, they run into a shipwrecked girl. Now, this shipwrecked girl was apparently held prisoner by the pirates in the movie. But since this comic book's for kids, we're going to make her and her uncle a, a couple of castaways just like them and they're gonna shoot off the cannon to flag passing ship swear to god youtube swear to god none of this is in the movie and they shoot off a cannon they meet the girl and and oh my god so to meet the stowaway girl, she lasts us one page. They shoot off a cannon. They flag down a passing ship. They've been waiting on that because that's what that big cannon was for. And, and 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 now they're leaving their little island and they're selling back to be rich and they're rescued. Yay! None of this happened in the movie this comic book is supposedly based on. Yep, son of a beep! Do you believe this? Dave, do you believe this? Do you believe this comic book? Oh, Oh, I'm just, I'm in shock. I can't believe it. And, and in this long drug out comic book with no action hardly whatsoever, no pirates whatsoever, and now they're rescued. And just like that, the kids sell off to the future. It looks like mom and dad decide to stay. Ain't that some stupid shit? Okay, the kids sell off with the boat to go collect the fortune. He's going to hang out with his new girlfriend, and and the other son's going with him, and the mom and dad going to stay on the island in this weird comic book that don't make no sense. Okay, and in the very back, we get this, and that's some reading for Michael Marone. Oh, oh God. Well, at least that cover is going to look good on the wall, Dave. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. Well, I appreciate the movie because it's a lot better than the comic book. This has about been my look at the Swiss Family Robinson from 1979, one of the classic King, King classic comics. Not, I got a bunch of classic illustrated, and I hope they did better justice to the classics than this one did. It left out the pirates. It left out the adventure. It left out all kind of cool stuff. It really did. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. See, the girl was captured by pirates. Oh, my God.